Hi, my name is Nick, and if you know me in real life, no you don't. Um, my boyfriend just looked at me, so now I have to start over. Hi, my name is Nick, and if you know me in real life, no you don't. Um, I got my plants that I showed you last time on our last episode together and i have some dirt that i need to get rid of aka the dirt mix that i make uh because i got another container it's slightly smaller and just the stuff doesn't fit so i'm downsizing a little bit trying to make it look more pinterestable I took the lid off and I just love the smell of dirt. Oh God, it smells so good on my skin. Like I said, if you know me in real life, no, you don't. Uh, <clears throat> so what I thought we could do today, was I thought we could take a look at some of these roots um, because uh, in some of these stores, I've noticed a lot of death plugs and I just don't want that for my plants. Um, some people say like it doesn't really matter that they enjoy having death plugs or like the death they don't ever take them out but i don't like them because um it's really hard for the plant to shoot off new growth because that soil is so compact and so just like padded down that it doesn't really like allow the plant a chance to breathe it's like when you wear something too tight and then you take it off and you're like um, yeah, I'm still not wearing my glasses. They come in on Tuesday. I'm filming this. It's a Saturday today. Um, so let's get into it. Ah. So here we are. Uh, really just going at it with this uh, Calathea Raven. Hopefully damage isn't too bad, but I definitely saw the plug... Um, it's pretty bad. Uh, roots were really struggling to get through, and this was actually kind of difficult to get out. So, just enjoy watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. I decided now would be a good time to get some tweezers and um, like clean them off, you know, whatever, with alcohol, and then I can really just start going in on um, the like fabric encasing around the death root. Um, yeah, it'd be great if I would show you that I'm repotting this, but I'm repotting this, um, guy in some soil. Yeah, that's what I'm doing there. And isn't she pretty? Uh, she'll go to get watered soon. This next one. Oh boy, was she in bad shape. Um... I let the soil dry out a lot because I find it's easier, but Calatheas really don't like that. And as you can see, a lot of these leaves are like really small. 
Um, and I'm just kind of crumbling away with my fingers, not using a lot of pressure, not using a lot of force um, to get to the root, like to the root ball. Um, and then I'll clean up this plant and move on. Hopefully I'm better this time about showing you guys, and it looks like I am! Oh my gosh. Oh, no I'm not. Uh, repotting this, I do the 80-20-10 method, which is 80% dirt, 20% uh, perlite, 10% wood. This next one, whew, boy. This is a Calathea White Fusion, I think? A Calathea White Fusion. Um, I think they're beautiful. I think the pops of color really, you know, pop. Um, I don't remember. One of these didn't have a root. Um, one of these didn't have it, and I believe it was this guy. And I'm, like, looking all over for it. I think it was this guy that didn't have a um, net. And I'm, like, searching. I'm, like, looking. Like, did I miss it? No. Okay, cool. I sound really excited about this plant, but I did not do a thorough enough search, or I didn't do something right. Um, this guy actually got, this Alocasia Silver Dragon actually got some um, pretty bad root rot. Uh, wasn't happy, I thought it was just because I, like, you know, maybe I pulled some roots. Uh, they're very finicky. Nope, root rot. So, I'm trying to save it currently, but who knows. Maybe it'll live, maybe it won't. Kind of bummed, but whatever.
what I have here is a philodendron imperial red. Um, basically, the stems um, are red, obviously, and the leaves have this reddish hue until they like kind of develop more. I think they're really pretty, and yeah, it's I've had this one for a while, but it's been in, like the timeout corner because I saw it had some gnats. So while I was treating that, I wasn't gonna change it out of the pot I got it in. So, we repotted five babies. We repotted five babies. We took a look at each of the roots, and I'm so shocked that that white fusion didn't have any um, plugs. The white fusion had no plugs whatsoever, and it was so crazy. I really thought um, the Imperial Red was going to have some plugs too, but I'm really surprised, and I'm pleasantly surprised that it did not. Um... Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can follow the out card or whatever it's called. Um, and it will take you to another video of mine or even a YouTube recommended video for you. Just made for you. How, how kind of YouTube to do that for you. How kind. I hope everyone has a great day. I will see you later. Uh.